I remember the day we left the safe house. It was me, Montega Simmons, and Daruba. We left. We had uh, we had backpacks full of water and milk and Maalox, and we had some vinegar and stuff. Um, what happened was that day uh, we walked down. When we drove to Chambers, we walked down West Florissant, um, and the people were sitting in the streets. Um, and when we got down to West Florissant, um, we walked about a, a, a half a mile to uh, Canfield Drive. So when we got to Canfield Drive, it was people just sitting around, sitting on the ground, like with their hands up. Armored vehicles was, you know, everywhere. And they, you know, they did their nightly call of, uh, please disperse. If you don't disperse, you'll be subject to arrest. And I guess that night, I think this was like by week two, almost week three, people was like, you go home. This is my home. I ain't no armor tanks where I live, dog. Go home. So people stood up, and, and at that point, I was like, man, I don't know, man. These, these niggas might die tonight, you know what I'm saying? And out of nowhere, uh, the armor vehicle shot out some tear gas and hit this girl in the back. It was just hot. She was just screaming. She fell down, and she wouldn't even move. We ran up there like an idiot. I picked the uh, tear gas up and burned my hand off. Um, and I tried to throw it away from everybody. Then we dragged her out. And I guess at that point, I'm like, man, fuck this shit. I'm going to do whatever they say. So we lined up, man. We was like, hey, we got to make sure everybody get home, man. We lined up. It was about 25 of us, man. It was this big-ass white dude out there. I'll never forget it, man. He had a big, long-ass beard. He had a bandana and shit, man. He ain't had no shirt on. And he was like, I'm out here with my people. If I die, we die. If we die, we die together tonight. And at that point, I'm like, shit, we up here, dog. We stood there, man, we, we got tear gas. And this is the crazy thing. This made me think about what go on in the hood. They came up, they was like, oh, y'all don't want to move? Tear gas. Y'all don't want to move still? They start shooting with the rubber bullets. And then if you don't move from there, they just ride the, they, they, they back up and drive cars right at you till you move. Like, I've seen people fit, get rolled over, all kinds of stuff, man. So that night, man, we held people off, man, for about an hour and 15 minutes. The police did something that I never expected. And it's let me know when I go home in the hood, and next time I hear this, I know who actually did this shit. They drove by us. They go up 15 houses, shoot, and come back. And they did it all the way up from Canfield to about Chambers, which is like a quarter of a mile. They did drive-bys. And it mean, the drive-by was so perfect that you thought you'd be on a movie scene. And But they did it every night. This is the first time I actually saw it executed to a T, going back and forth. This is the first time. And I said, damn, man. Next time I heard niggas shooting drive-bys in the hood, I don't think that's us anymore. Like we had a case next, like two weeks after that, where some white guys got caught. Um, they got caught shooting at some people with some bandanas. That was the craziest night for me, man. I, I you know, I, I burnt my hand up. Uh, I don't have fingerprints on my, uh, my, my, my middle finger, my thumb. That's burned off, the skin burned off. Um, but I know I stood up with my people. We resilient, we resisted and we got people home safe so they can protest the next night.